ho 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 What's this? A hot samba track? Hot samba Hot samba Hot samba track Yucca go yucca go yucca Hot samba Hot samba Hot samba track Ho 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 Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Success Express. I'm Eric Jackowitz. And I'm Ethan Edinburgh, your financial leaders into the financial world. Into the financial future. We're going to lead you not only into a money-making reality, which is different from your own because you don't have enough money to pay for your bills and your car, but we're going to show you how to enlighten your mind so that you wake up with a spring in your step thinking, where's where, how can I get... More cash to my friends. We're going to welcome you into the Success Express minefield. And what that means is you're going to be walking in a meadow. You're going to be like, la di da di da And what's going to happen? You're going to step on a little string that's in the ground, and you're going to be like, uh-oh. Uh-oh, a trap? A trap? Is this a landmine? Uh-oh. And then you take your foot off that little string, and guess what explodes in your face? Money. It's a big cash bang here on the program today. We're bringing it to you for real. There's no lies in the program. It's all been fact-checked. Everything we give you is straight advice from real-life financial gurus. Tony Robbins. Ben Stiller. Ben Stein. And, of course, joining us is uh, Shani Musa Guzluz in the studio. He's our producer uh, who has to be here to run stuff. Legally. Legally. Um, if he wasn't here, we couldn't do the program. Um, or mm, could we? Well, we could definitely do the program, but legally, different story. Probably not. How, how, how are you, Sean? Uh, it's nice that you're here. I'm feeling... Uh, Good to hear your voice. (laughs) Feeling loved. That's great, man. You met somebody? No. You're still by yourself then in that apartment? Mm Mm-hmm. On Crenshaw? Yeah. You know, Eric, when I went over to uh, Sean's place last week, Mm -hmm. I was dropping off some footage. Yep. And I go, hey, since I drove all the way out here, can I come in a minute? And he was like, oh, it's not really a great time. I'm kind of working on some stuff. And I was like, hey, come on, you know, I brought the stuff. I drove all the way out here. You the bathroom, maybe. Yeah, let me get a drink. He was like, trying not to let me come in. Uh, long story short, we go in. <laughs> Place is a pigsty. Oh, no. I mean, gross. Magazines on the floor. Toilet paper everywhere. Oh, my God. Wet paper Ugh. towels. Mulch. I mean, Ugh. there's just mulch in his sink, man. And dishes. Sean, why is there mulch in your there's sink? There's still dishes, but there's mulch, too. I don't... It doesn't matter, Eric. Don't... Uh, honestly, it's not worth it. What possible reason? The guy's a mess. You know, who knows what he's doing in that fucking room. Stunk. But I'm very excited today because I have released some music, Eric. What? Yeah, I've been with a couple producers getting together, listening to their Wait. beats... And making up words. Wait, what producers have you been working with? I've been working with Sean Q, and I've been working with Little Pete. Both. Sean Q and Little Pete. They've come together to make beats for my record. You're making a record? Yes, that's what I'm telling you. I'm very excited I, about it. What, what kind of producers are these? Sean Q does a lot of movie soundtracks, so he <laughs> okay. comes from a Film scoring, yeah, scoring place. And Little Pete... He's a pop guy. I mean, he's a hit maker. Top he's made, made uh, he did Mumbo number five. He did Who Let the Dogs Out. He did what was that Ricky Martin Living La Vida Loca song? He produced that. Wow. He also did I'm excited for you. One week. Bare Naked Ladies. One week since you looked at me. Yes. So I want to, if it's cool with you and it's cool with Sean. Show you guys my track that I've been working on with these great producers. I, Sean, are you okay with this? Uh, yeah, we got time. There's no ads. Uh, I mean, maybe later. Okay, great. So let's, Sean, if you can, sp- click that link I sent you because I can't wait for you guys to hear the demo of this song that I'm going to release as the single. Uh, what's, it, what's this one called? <laughs> Just listen to it. You'll get the name, the title. Play it, Sean. <laughs> One time, little Pete, drop it, drop it. Put it lower in my headphones, too loud. No, it's too low. That's perfect, baby. Yeah, let's go. This one's close to heart. 
Eric's a piece of shit. Eric smells like shit. Dude doesn't know how to fucking count to six. Guy's dumb. Fucking super dumb. This motherfucker, he can't even read a book. <laughs> can't read. Watch his dumb movies. They're all animated. Guy should be eaten by a gator. Straight up. I hope he's dead. I hope by the time this comes out, he's dead. There it is. What do you think? <laughs> um, what? Was that about anyone? Where, where, what, what was the... In- well, I, I just I have a lot of questions. Okay. Well, what was the inspiration? Lil Pete had uh, the beat. He had that whole, you know, da 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 but and I was like, okay, that's dope. That's dope. That's dope. And then um, Sean Q was telling me like, hey man, just he was trying to inspire me. So he was just saying like, say what's on your mind. Say what's on your mind. And then like, boom, just came out of me like a waterfall, dude. Bam. So you just sort of had like a didn't write it down. Just what like you were feeling Wayne. in the moment. Yeah, exactly. Okay. And uh, and people are calling it a diss track. And uh, yeah, that's what it sounds like. Yeah, and that's that sounds cool. Because I know there's there's a couple different things I want to get into. Mixtapes, remix. Am I the only Eric you know? Yes. Why? Well. I want to get into freestyling. Do you want me to die? Do you want me to... Excuse me? You want me to get eaten by a gator? Excuse me? Did you listen to the diss track? You said, you sing, yeah, you said Eric's it. a piece of shit. I hope he's dead and I hope he gets eaten by a gator. Well, you know, rap is supposed to be raw. You know okay. what I mean? So, Sean, do we have an ad, or what else do you guys want to do today on the program? Uh, well, this is actually just kind of like an extra, it's like our last session of the year. Happy so, holidays, everybody. Happy holidays we've to you, We've actually been doing really well with, uh, with the ads this year, so I think we, could, you know, we don't have to. Oh. Well, to Eric, do. is there something you've been working on that you want to well, showcase? Because we don't have ads. It's pretty cool. I, you know, I didn't want to... Bring it up. What? You can bring anything up. I thought we had ads today. And, no you know, ads. You're, since you're sharing. Uh, I'm very excited about, yeah, my stuff. new record, um, which everybody you can go check out. I'm also making a record. No. Yeah. You're getting into music? Well, I've been into music for my whole life. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. Congrats. Um, uh, thank you. That's cool. You express yourself creatively in that way. That's nice. This is sort of a departure for me because, you know, I normally play drums mm-hmm. for people and well stuff like that. But now I'm... Sort of play, but yeah. Seems like you goof around, but yeah. But what are you working on now? Okay. Um, I'm actually working on uh, some tracks as well. Your own songs that you write? Yeah, I, I hooked up with a couple producers. What does it sound like? And, uh, Vertical Horizon or something? No, it's uh, very similar to what you brought in. It's oh, you're of rapping. Funny. Yeah. You're a rapper? Yeah. As well? That's fantastic news. I guess I am now. Well, congratulations on that. Thank you. I've been working with a couple producers. Oh, who you been working with? Dr. Dre. Who's that? What did he do? He is a doctor oh, who... Congratulations uh, to him. He think he was a, a podiatrist. Oh. And then that's got the into feet. the... No, that's that's the, the foot man. Feet, foot man? He's the foot man of hip hop. So Oh, my God. Huge sounding. Yeah. That's great. You should see how big his feet are. <laughs> <laughs> are they big? Yes, they're oh, very big. That's awesome. So, uh, yeah, he made me a track, and uh, we just laid something down in his studio. Do you want to hear that? You want to hear that? Of course, I do. Play it, Sean. Do you have that? Uh, yeah, I think I have it right here. Hey, yo. Get it together. We gotta fix up the streets and feed some people. We gotta build some houses in Chile, baby. We need to fix up the streets. Build everybody up. Build everybody up. Work in the soup kitchen. Ethan's a bitch. He looks like shit. Every time I fart, it reminds me of him. When I get in my car, all I think is fuck Ethan. When I go to a bar, I don't want to see his face. Face. Oh, whoa. 
Uh, hmm. Well, so it's sort of like um, you know, uh, socially conscious hip hop. It was, yeah. I think it was for a few lines. Thank you. And then, you know what, Sean, just play the second track on my playlist. Can you do that? Uh, yeah. You see it there, SoundCloud? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah just play the second track, and Eric, maybe just you think about this song. Let's go. Eric's got no dick. Eric's got no dick. If you open his pants, you ain't gonna see shit. Eric's got no dick. Eric's got no dick. Oh, and also, he's dumb. <laughs> so that's track two. That's track two on my new EP, yeah. Which is called Forever Young, which everybody can get on Spotify. Why is it Cloud. called Forever Young? That's just kind of my style. That's my style as a rapper. What? You say forever. You know, young. just do you fucking say forever young in there. Yeah, and a few of the songs I do. I mean, Where? I'm just all about YOLO, and I'm all about you know live it up, and for, we're forever young, and it's just time to dance and like you know forget the rest. That's kind of my whole vibe. Cool man, as a rap artist. Great. Yeah, that's great. Sean, did you get my second track? Oh, you have more than one song. Yeah, I'm making a whole album actually. Oh, that's crazy. With Dr. Dre. Holy shit! Can't that's... believe you never heard of him. That's so cool. He's no. really good. He's kind of big. Well, I don't know other famous foot doctors, so I don't know why I would know your stupid producer, but that's cool well, that you're making a lot of songs. Produced Eminem just and thinking about, Kendrick Lamar. Just thinking about so. your past, it's like you would just do one thing and then realize it's stupid and move on. So this is oh, cool like that you're my like path of like being from the on. streets and like rapping? Yeah. Sean, did you get my second track? Um, if, if, you, if not, it's cool, Sean. Did we you can get just, it, Sean? We can just throw it to Burger King or whatever. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, great. Can you oh, play that? He has another one up there already, or does it not download? Smelly ass ass. You got a smelly ass ass. Ass smell. Yo. Ethan's got a smelly asshole. Ethan's got a smelly asshole. Ethan's got a smelly asshole. Yeah, that's right. He's got a smelly asshole. Yo, nobody likes this guy. I swear to God, nobody likes this guy. Who likes this guy? Everybody says they love him to his face, but behind his back, they say fuck him. Fuck him, cause he's got a smelly asshole. Boom! Um. You know, every <laughs> I just want to th say two things here. Okay. One, uh, almost everybody has a smelly asshole. Okay. That's just. That's, that's not. Yeah. People, after they take a shit. That's where people. Play. After they take a shit. Well, it's the smelliest part of the body, probably. Okay. And number two. After you take a shit. And number two. Sean, can you play the next track on my playlist? Good night. Look behind your back, motherfucker. Everybody's got a time. Everybody's time comes. You know what I'm saying? What? Some, pe some people's time comes before others. You never know. That's all I'm saying. Life's crazy. Life's crazy. Let's go. Hope you got a shield, dude. Hope you got... Security guards, bro. Cause you going down. I know where you live and I ain't a clown. I'm gonna bring the sword to your place. I'm gonna put that sword in your face. Wow, that's. I'm gonna stab you until you die. And then I'm gonna shit on your grave. Okay, that's so violent. Yeah, it's you're gonna raw, shit though. on my grave. Why did you think it was about you? I'm. I'm. I, is it not about me? Not, not at all. Who's that about? I mean, that's just uh, proof of my rawness. That's just you know me saying you're. I'm. You know, don't fuck with me. Um, but there is about. I mean, I think. Uh, Do you say the name Eric in that track? No, 
I, I'm telling you, it's just about my personality and my vibe. Oh, okay. Well, I don't. I'm sorry. I blew up at you then. No, it's totally fine. Um, Sean, can you play the interlude? That's after that song, and then right before the next song. Just wanted to take a second and say that last song is about Eric, my good friend Eric. I, okay. <laughs> um. <laughs> What? That's clearly about me. I I mean, if you want to look into it like that, you man. You only know one guy named Eric. You hear what you want to hear, brother. Sean, what? did you get my third track? I, I have everything you guys sent me. Yo. Kayak.com. Kayak.com. One, two, three, four. Going on kayak.com and I'm gonna buy you a plane ticket. One way, hell. One way to hell. Going on kayak.com and I'm gonna buy you a plane ticket. One way to hell. Fuck Ethan. So that was a partnership I'm doing with, with kayak.com. Kayak? Yeah, it sounded like it. And that's so lame, dude, to sell out like that, by the way. Oh. I would never do that with one of my songs. Never. Well, never do that. Dr. Dre is very expensive. Well, I don't care. He's one music of the top an, podiatrists in the business. Music is an art form, and you are, in my opinion, crushing the art by selling yourself out like that. Oh, I'm crushing it. Thank you. You're welcome. Sean, can you play my next track? Right now at Cinemark, you can buy our new season pass. <laughs> For forty five for forty five dollars a month you can see unlimited movies right now at Cinemark. That's right. Just go to Cinemark.com or download the Cinemark app. Right now with the Cinemark app you can save thirty percent on all merchandise. Hoodies, hats, popcorn, <laughs> coke, candies, everything Cinemark brand, everything thirty percent off on Black Friday. Okay. You're going to come at me. What? For partnering up with kayak.com? Oh, for your bullshit kayak song? Yeah. You're you're partnering up with Cinemark and you're telling about discounts on movies. Well, but that wasn't my voice. Whose I voice just, was that? I just did the music on that one. So you produced that one yourself? Well, who did the voice? I mean, I would say Sean Q did most of the producing, I got to say. But I was there. So what'd you do? And I told him like, oh, switch this up or like put the drums louder. And then the voice was done by my friend Federico. So you just kind of orchestrated the whole thing. Mm -hmm. That's like the biggest sellout move you could possibly do. Mm, why? Because there was no actual rapping. Like, why at would least you, in my diss track, why would you, I dissed you. Why would you even and say that? And I partnered up with Kayak.com. That was purely an ad. I think your partnership... We could have ran that... On, a, on another episode of Success Express, and that would have been an advertisement for Cinemark. Well, I think you should run it as ads and not as music. My shit is music, and I think that you're probably just jealous, and you're coming at me because of insecurity, ego, horse manure, and I think you should look into yourself and be like, maybe I'm fucking an idiot for being a commercial piggy. Sean, did you get my fourth track? Yeah, I'm talking about Jeff. Talking about Jif Best peanut butter in the world Jif Did you partner so up? Stick that in your pipe and smoke it. it I guess that's why you're being so sensitive is because you've partnered up with multiple companies. That was another sponsorship bullshit because it was all about Jif? Nope. That is cool street slang. But that you, you don't know about because you're not a real hip hopper. Are you saying Jif is means something else? Because you also said it was peanut butter. <laughs> That's also another. That means something. Hip hop else. term. Oh yeah. I guess I, there are things for me to learn. Yeah, there's a ton, and I'm glad you recognize that. And well, this is just my first album, you know, and I am. Yeah. You know, just yeah. because my my Champ. tour has been selling out, you know, and I'm opening for Snoop Dogg and stuff. Doesn't mean I should get ahead oh, of myself. Oh, it doesn't really sound like your tour. It sounds like Snoop Dogg's tour, and you're just sort of riding his... Um, his coattails? His coattails. Well, technically, Little Pete's riding his coattails, because it's, it's really his show, and I just come out and do a song. But, Sean... So you do a feature? Can you send me the live audio? Because people have been really loving this. This was live at the latest Snoop Dogg um, uh, Up in Smoke 
uh, tour that I did a little um, a cameo on. And people have been asking me about it a lot. And so I guess we'll just play it here and that way everybody has it. They don't have to download it separately. Can you do that, Sean? Yep. You have that? Follow the link from Pitchfork. All right, Oakland, what's up? My name is Digital Skunk, and I'm here to do some rapping. Let me hear it. <laughs> I see that. Nacho cheese. Chill out. I got a good friend. Dude's an idiot. I think he was dropped when he was a baby. I don't like him. And his face is gone. And I think that I'm going to hurt him. Say it was an accident. Whoops. Sorry. I opened the door while he was in my Ferrari. And he fell out. Whoops. You don't have a Ferrari. We are very good friends. Yeah. And that's... I was never in one of your Ferraris. And I certainly never fell out of a Ferrari. Yeah, but it's something you would do. Okay. So why would you say I did it? Because it would be awesome if it. you did. It would be awesome. And I want to talk Where's about Where's all awesome. this coming from? I want to... Nowhere. It's my new rap career. I'm doing what I have to do to get, you know, known. Everybody likes this kind of thing. It's this track. No, th this tracks haven't been a thing for like 10 years. I know. Everybody loves it. You're bringing back diss tracks. No, I'm doing what everybody else is doing. Listen, I think what helps is the same thing that happened with Drake and Meek Mills, which is Meek that... Meek Mill. Yeah, the whole Mills serial... I think we're talking about the same thing. Oh. Let's get together and make up and then make a, our own diss track about some other fuck nod. Fuck nod? <laughs> yeah, that's another rep term I learned. Homie? All right. Fine. Truce? Let's truce for this next track. All right. All right. Um, ladies and gentlemen, please help me welcome Sean Q, Little Pete, and Dr. Dre. Um, if you guys could just make a quick beat for us, and then Eric and I will create a diss track. Is that okay, Sean, or we have an ad? Uh, just do it. Great. Families uniting. Worlds colliding. The two dawns. The dawns are back. The dawns together at last. <laughs> the dawns of rap, we gon' take it back. The dawns of rap, we're gon' to take it back. The dawns of rap, we have set a trap for you. Trap Got for a you. Big sex, sex, sex. We like to do sex. We also like Chinese food. Which is why we came to promote Chinese Boner Town. Chinese Boner Town is a new buffet restaurant that's open from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. It's got all the classic Chinese dishes. Orange chicken, Mongolian beef, fried rice, egg drop soup, hot and sour soup. Chinese Boner Town bringing two dons together. Chinese Boner Town and no matter the weather. Chinese boner down, you better bring a sweater because shit gets cold in here. I'm really fucking sorry about what I said to you. I'm really fucking sorry, man. I really mean it from my heart, bro. My fucking heart, bro. Let's split an egg roll and commiserate. All right, man. I'm also sorry. I want to be nice. So, hey, me and you, let's get some fried rice at this Chinese boner town. I hope that you are down because you are my best friend and I hope that never ends. Hey man, it's Wednesday. I heard they have a special. Shit. Two for one play called a happy family special. I like it. Let's invest together and get all that food. And I was told to wear a sweater because it's cold and Chinese boner down. Cold and Chinese boner down. Cold and Chinese boner down. They keep the AC blasting like a casino. So Eric and I are going to be performing at the iHeartRadio Bonanza. Yeah, we just got booked. Which is also featuring Nelly. Furtado. Um, and 
uh, Maya. And Timberland. So be sure to catch us at the headlining stage uh, right after Timberland, Maya, and Nelly Furtado. And not only that, but Eric and I also wanted to give a quick shout out unrelated to Chinese Boner Town. Which is an incredible establishment that I, I had never experienced anything like it. Me neither. I thought I knew what Chinese food was. Boy, was I wrong. Yeah. I usually have to, uh, you know, if I get horny, it's not a good time for me to be in a big restaurant. Sure. And somehow they figured out a way where it's not weird. You know, you can go in there and you it's You can crack it's still one off wherever you want in that classy restaurant. Classy place. They keep it nice uh, all around. I don't know how they do it. And they say, welcome... You can order whatever you want. Yeah, it's a buffet. Free to jerk it. It's unbelievable. Um, it's the season. Tis the season. Yeah, it's the season. That's Christmas what I Christmas and all the things. Um, the other ones. But I want to give something right now. I want to give a shout out to a friend of mine who's been making some really, really great tracks. And if that's cool with you guys, I just want to play one of his songs. Sure. Okay. So this is my buddy from Nashville... Um, uh, what's his fucking name? Steven something. You, do you know him? We went to Steven, college with him, I think. Steven, Steven Slanger. Steven Slanger. Thank you so much. So we're going to give a special little, because he just came out with an album and it's so good. Did this whole Kickstarter for it. Um, so here's, yeah, the new song by Steven Slanger for the holidays. Steven Slanger and I want to get circumcised as an adult. As an adult. I got 400 bucks saved up and I'd like a doctor to come over and cut off the tip of my cock. I like ham and turkey subs. I like potato salad too. But what I would like the most Is someone to cut a piece of my cock Slip the tip of my dick Everybody, Steven Slanger <laughs> Everybody needs to go to Spotify and uh, Bandcamp <laughs> And just buy his album Buy Steven Slanger's album It's so, honestly, it's great and it reminds me a lot of like Feist and Blake Mills. He's got this like awesome yeah, kinda tone. Yeah, kind of earthy kind of. Earthy tones, yeah. man. It's so fucking good. And he's just a special force. Now, Sean, do we have an ad? Because I don't want to be selfish here. Um, I'm just so excited about the rest of my album, and I really want to show you guys some tracks. Uh, no, we really don't have any ads. Is that a bad sign? No, it's a good sign. I was telling you earlier. Oh, it's a good sign. So yeah. we went through all of the ads for the season. Right. Knocked them out. Right. So you guys... So now we just have a podcast where we can talk about finance? So now it's like free falling over here. Free! Is that right? Sort of. So just in case anybody's listening from the Grammy Association, let's play my next track, Sean, and see what happens. Uh, see what the response is from that, Okay. Uh, is it this one that says Fools Die? Yeah, let's play Fools Die and let's, Sean, keep the Twitter line open so while we're playing it, people can chime in and tell us what they think. Smarten up. Read your books, baby. I got my B-boy back. The Don's. Fools die, that's why I study Fools die and you ain't my buddy Fools die, Eric, you next, you next That's why I texted you To come to the bridge, man And bring a scissors, man We gonna scissor fight Me and you tonight But what you don't know is I've been training. 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 Okay. We made up. Okay. And now you're going to hit me with this? This, I... You're going to hit me with this? Fool's Die... You I texted me. Fool's Die I recorded months ago. 
So why are you releasing it on the podcast now after we made up? Well, I'm sure the Twitter lines are blowing up and and that's the reason why is because anytime i've shown God, this to dude, people they love like it a, i feel like a fool they love fools Day. well kind of a fool or fuck you dude okay sean and that's your sean opinion. play my next track sean if you feel pressured you don't have to I'm gonna stab you, baby, stab you, baby, stab you in the face and stab you, baby. Ethan sucks, he's always sucked. All I want to do is stab him, baby. A dream of stab, I wake up, stab, go to lunch, stab, go to dinner, stab. All I want to do is stab you, baby. All I want to do is stab you in the face, Ethan. I mean, that one I liked. That one's pretty good, right? I gotta say, it's funky and fun. Yeah. Right? That's really cool. Yeah, you can thank Dr. Dr. Dre. Dre. Yeah. He's got the magic. Maybe I should make a track with Dr. Dre. I I would love to introduce you guys. Would you refer me to him? I don't mind. You connect me? Will you stop dissing me? Because I'm clearly burying you. I mean, I haven't seen the numbers on this. Have you heard Stab You Baby? I love Stab You Baby. That one, it's even hard for me to be upset. That is how good my diss tracks are. Is that, yeah, I start to like it. That is a good point. Well, let me hit you with one more. And if you don't like this, then I guess you win. Okay. Some motherfuckers never learn. Let's ride. Let's do this. Let's all get together, hold hands. Let's all make out. Don't matter who you are, don't matter who you come from, open your mouth, let's go. Love each other. Eric should work in a dumpster. Eric should live in a toilet. Eric should go to vacations in a graveyard. Eric smells like a fish. A fish covered and covered in shit. Every morning when I see Eric, I think I'm having a nightmare. Every day when I say bye, I hope it's the last time. Sean, play my next track. Wait, Sean, play it. That one wasn't over. (laughs) You want to keep going? Eric's, Eric's parents must have been on heroin when they fucked. Yeah, we get it. Sean, play my next track. I can't believe this asshole. <laughs> yo, 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 yo. <laughs> yo, if they made a movie about Ethan, it would be called What the fuck is this? My life is a joke. My life is a sham. My life is a failure. I got no skills. I don't know how to cook for myself. I don't know how to dress. I took a shit and did it white. That's why my ass smells so bad. And that's the whole title of the movie. Oh! That's kind of cool. A long movie title like that? That's yeah. a good diss. It's a That's hot That's two compliments. You didn't like the one the one I like? No. <laughs> They're all because of angry towards me. Okay, but if you weren't you, then what would you say about the track? I'd say, honestly, uh, top 10. Uh, rap songs of all time? Easily. That's what I've been getting a lot. I have one. It's hard not to take it personal. I have one that is a little bit different. And I don't just mean than the other songs that I've done. I mean a little bit different from what rap is doing today. Okay. So I'm not sure if I should put it on the record, but since you're a peer and since Sean's a producer, maybe I can play this kind of experimental track and you guys can tell me if it should go on the record or if I should just, you know, not go down that path. Okay. Sean, Sean is- are you down for an opinion? You want me to talk? I just We'll see what we think. I mean, I just want you to, yeah, listen and tell me what you think. I mean, unless you're busy. What are you doing? Oh, uh, whatever. Just, yeah. Okay. I wish- 
wish I was a swan I wish I was a stork I wish I was a duck Any sort of flying bird <laughs> So, what do you think? You want to hear it again? Are you unsure? I'm unsure. Can I hear that again? Yeah, yeah. There's a part two. Part two. I want to eat bread that people drop on the ground at the park. I want to, I want to chirp, 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 and quack, quack, quack. I want to hang out near a river or a lake. I want to migrate, migrate, maybe, and I want to have a horn. Okay. <laughs> just first impressions. I just want to give you what, as soon as what I, yeah, first after I heard it, about. after I just, you sure, know, give you my full thing. You can be totally honest. Sounds like you want to be a bird. Yeah, that's it. That is the, sure, the plot of that, I guess. Sean, does that? That's the goal. Ring true? Uh, no. What do you think, Sean? What did you get out of it? Uh, just sounded like you were fucking high or something. In a good way? Like that you would listen to it more than once or like you don't care about it? If I was, maybe if I was high. Okay, well, people get high a lot. So maybe a lot of people would love it. And if that's the case, I got a lot where that came from. You know, since we're sharing... I've actually been working on some non dis experimental stuff. Experimental Holy stuff. Holy shit. Okay. I mean, as musicians, that's kind of what we do, we right? Need to, Push the envelope. You know, sometimes you're in a cocoon. You're in, a, you're Step in, the, out of you're the, box. in the laboratory and yep. there's no windows. You, you don't know what people are going to say before you release it into the world. Absolutely. So I would love to uh, yeah. show you some yeah, new if you have stuff. Some, I'm I'd like on. to hear your. Sean, is that cool? Your stuff. I mean, it's the holidays, you know? Uh, yeah. We'll, Give the gift. Yeah. Give the gift. I'm a panther, a fucking panther. I roam the jungle, and it's my birthday, my 30th birthday. I'm a panther, and I'm 30, and I'm roaming in the jungle. I'm a panther, and I'm 30, yes, I'm roaming in the jungle looking for ducks. Looking for ducks, I'm gonna look for ducks I wanna eat that duck Crispy duck, crisp, crisp, crispy duck My name is Crispy Duck Whoa, sick I Did love like that the bit about the end with Chris P. Duck Chris, His middle name with oh, middle initial was P Oh, I thought it was Crispy Duck It was, and then Chris P. Chris duck. P. duck I love that song, man And I felt like a panther listening to it Good That's cool, like Thank you're stalking you. prey Thank you Oh, that means a lot. Sean, what would you think? Love the rap stuff and love that experimental stuff. I really appreciate that. Yeah. Yeah, I liked it better than the duck one. Okay, well, that's just rude, man. That was my song, Aww, the duck one. thanks. I mean, you can't... It's hard to like two things exactly the same. I know, but you didn't have to compare. You could just tell them it's a good song. You have to say, oh, yeah, I like that more than his song. Well, sometimes it's good. How is to, it good? To compare. To st- no. Does you it, know, do the I- Beatles were very competitive. Yeah, but they weren't comparative. Mm. That's important. Very, That's imperative. Very cool. Thank you. Well, you know what that means. Time's up. We got to go. Time's up. Time's up. <laughs> uh, but thank you so much, Eric, for showing me your music and, you know, the yeah. stuff that you care about, your passions. And we're going to see you guys next time with more financial tips. And, and, and. Success Express is recorded at the All Things Comedy Studios in Burbank, California. It's produced by Shawnee Moose the Goose's Loose Tracy. And if you're listening to this podcast, you're, you're a, a McDuck. McDuck. That's right, you're a McDuck now, which means you're a fan of the podcast, and we would appreciate if you would write us an iTunes review telling us which sponsor you'd like to hear next. Sick of only listening to the podcast? You can watch certain episodes on YouTube. It's a select few for now. Be sure to follow us on Instagram at, at Success Express Pod for some behind the scenes violence. 
And hey, we have a Patreon now, so get on to patreon.com slash success express and become a half-blood McDuck, a full-blood McDuck, or a bloodhound McDuck hybrid. You get special expressos, which are too crazy for the podcast, and discounts on merch, and a lot more, so check it out. Patreon.com slash success express. Thank you. <laughs> thank you, Eric. No, thank you, McDucks. Bye-bye.